Yes. Let us, let us, let us start off with uh, Pastor Samuel. Pastor Samuel, what do you enjoy the most about being a father? I am able to provide for my family. To be able to provide for your family. What I enjoy most being a father is that every day I learn something new. When I'm wrong, mm -hmm. I find out that my son can correct me. He tells me that daddy, you know that you're not supposed to do that. Daddy, you're supposed to say sorry when you do that. So being a father, I enjoy being a father because I get to spend time with him, learn more things about what he likes and what he loves. And he teach me every day just to be the good person that I am today and the type of person that I am. Yeah, I <laughs> I've been a floating shell, so he has changed my life a lot. He has changed your life. Mr. Williams, Harvey, what do you enjoy the most about fatherhood? Being a father. Hi. Yes, man, you say more. Alright, the mic on the Sultan, so come up, come up, Harvey. What do you enjoy the most about being a father? Being a father? Yes. It's a good thing, you know. Yes. It's a challenge, you know. Alright, tell us. You know what I mean? As a youth, when you are there, you know, you know, you know, you know, So that means that girl has no problem. Yes. Can you know what I mean? Girl, tell me. I wish you had been Okay. Yes, sir. So the I want to say, well, the world of you then, yes. but with the eyes of average, everything. Yeah. Yes, sir. And honestly, I know different day on But with the world of you then, I'm going to change nothing. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But sometimes, I'm still father to pick me on my own. Come in and love my pick me alone. Yes. You understand? Yes. So, father, I'm an artist. It is why you love yourself but you can't love anybody. Yeah. So love yourself. Alright, 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 alright. The next question is, is there anything that you would have done differently as a father? Is there anything you would have done differently as a father? Mr. Margo, I want you to take this one for us. That you would have done different. I try to think of something out of the big brain. Probably, I don't know. I, I can't think of something that I would do different. And let me tell you why I can't. I see myself as a mentor to my boy. Yeah. And every day I am proud of what I see them becoming in terms of how they model it, my behavior. Yeah. In fact, sometimes it scares me because everything I do I even follow. Every, I mean, the way my face gesture, everything. Is, it's like a clone, it just follow, 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 follow. I know sometimes I can be very hard, yeah. but I can't say I'll be less harsh because they said hard times create strong men and weak men create difficult times. It's very important to know. So sometimes I think we are strong and creating weaker boys, yeah. which is really creating stronger men. But when we have become strong and we try to provide for them so much, sometimes we make them weak. Yeah. And then that generation gets weaker. Yeah. You know, so at, at this point, I can't tell you that this is something different. Maybe I'll probably, I don't know, I can't tell you, I can't find it. One follow up to that, Minister, what advice would you give to upcoming fathers? Well, for fathers coming out, say, choose your baby mother wisely. Yeah. I can tell you that. Yeah. So we're creating a generation and you're going to get into some family that you say the worst thing you have ever done in your life, you know. Yes. Or the best thing you have ever done in your life. So I would say select your partner wisely. And don't just be a donor. It, yeah. is, it, it is not okay just to say that you have, like all my good friends say, you have 10 baby mothers, you know. Um, that can work and that, and that work for our society. Um, I just choose a random number, yeah. you know, 12 or more, or less. But um, that work, but that's not the ideal situation. Yeah. The ideal really is for children to grow in a home where they have both parents. Yeah, so it doesn't always work that way. 
But if we can make it work that way, I think that is the ideal because they would have mommy's care and they would have daddy's care to compare. Sometimes when you extend it beyond that now, you get into what we call the big mother drama. And that can hold a host, hold a problem because that baby mother thinks she should get all the money, that one don't like how you treat that one and that one think it don't work. And it can create whole of a problem unnecessarily. Yeah. So we would say if you can select your partner wisely, you know, plan for your children, I believe it can work that way. All right, all right. What would you say is the most challenging, challenging thing at all? Who can clean the one? Praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, there is a great moment to speak of these good issues that we can help somebody else in the same condition. As a father, I work very hard. Yes. I don't care much more. My, my wife is a great mom, my great mother, she tries to do everything for them. And growing up them is very challenging. Sometimes they get so disobedient. They don't continue to hear they want to grow their own way. But we have a child with them in the world of God. Because it's not just about food for that shelter. It's a spiritual part of a new way. And that is the word of God. And you try to check us Teach them to observe all things. When you lie or sit them down. Some they write the scripture and then bathroom, they can read the You know, because Christ in these kinds of our children, it is hard. Because they live in a time of society you now where everything gone mad. You have to have them as the word of God, brethren. And it's hard to grow them up now. And the word, brethren, the word. It's challenging bedroom. I have two sons, two last one bedroom. And it seems so hard. They want to have them on the bedroom, but only the word of God can help them. And parents, all the work can be bedroom. Nothing but the word of God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes. You have to look great in this. And obedience is the word of God and teach them the way. Yes. Yes. So, so, so the question is, right? What is it that you find so difficult doing in your house? Whether you have poop, whether you have clean, wash, what is it that you're trying to do? What is it that you do in your house? Well, I do, I do most likely. I wash the dishes, I spread the bed, I do everything in the house. When not I try to help my wife. I don't want to work hard at her, I said. So I have to help her, assist her in the way I do. What is it? What is it that you do in the house? Pastor Samuel. Pastor Samuel, what is it that you do in the house? I actually do everything, um, but but um, one thing I don't like, I don't like cook, so I just run away from cooking most of the time. So you run away from cooking? Yeah, but I don't remember if I do. I do. No, wait a wait a minute, do eat bread. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, like Jesus. So you don't like the cooking thing for us? No, I do every other thing. You do every other thing? Andre, is there anything that you think men should be exempted from doing in the house? So I give one piece of other one. That would be happy and look up on it. Thank you for talking about washing. If there's one thing I don't like is to wash. I don't like washing. Um, but my household, my wife, I, you cannot wash the freezers and then they leave one. <laughs> Washing alone, like I said, she will deal with it because we pick up fast. You know? yeah. <laughs> so we will miss up. You know, as, as, a, as a male, sometimes we're not as thorough with the washing and the things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We may not put it part that. Yeah. When it comes down to exemption, though, um, in the Western world, it's hard to say that you're exempted from anything because yeah. like males are the only providers in the household right. and females are just at home doing females carry away equally. Yeah. So I believe at home you should share the duties and if the duties are shared equally and evenly because there are things that my wife like that I prefer to do and there are things that she prefers to do that I do. So you balance it. Yeah. Some of the things that you know, I wanna like. So for the balance it thing. Yeah, balance it. But some of the things she don't like do, but we try to pass it on sometimes. Because as men we do that as well. But it's just trying to create peace and harmony because there's really no exemption. Work yeah. is work Working. and it's always difficult. And as Minister pointed out earlier, if both are tired equally, then when, when the time for the homework to happen, then it is better. Rather yeah. than one not tired and one less tired, yeah. and then now it costs a profit in the household. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Minister. Come on. Yeah. It's in my life. Yes. Yeah. Not no exemption. That you want to 
me train to do the thing. Because I'm a friend. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You train. You train a woman. Yeah. All right. All right. Like, All right. To clean, me train. I don't think I want to do it. I don't think Yeah, I don't think that. You understand? Because what my woman you know, when they go around them, they leave you with them. Yeah. Them can't do nothing. Yeah. You understand? So for the time, they might be a man like them, man do nothing. Man do a whole it. So what are you telling the young men then? Say, the young man says, when they are grown, they are young. Yeah. You have your mother, you have your father. Learn to do things. Yeah. So you start with 10 11, or wash your brick, wash your underpants, yeah. wash two things, like elbow. Yeah. But when you get big and go around, if you have a girl, you can do that here. Yeah. You can walk. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to train. Yeah. I'm going to know more than one want. I'm going to train to do things. Yeah. Two. Two. Yes. Boom. Three. One. Of course, you press my wife close. Of course, you must not press your wife close. Yeah, man. I'll be back in the day. 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 I'm going to go over Maggie for those of you who know Maggie open like nobody so Go over Miss Maggie she starts to fall And me and them boy roll by, play my blast out of when you look the white man son brown And Jennifer said look here man come here Sit down here sir And wash that, give me cake soap, wash it, brush and everything And keep today me can't wash and me can't wash white too Me can't wash white too
to be to be honest, to be honest, um, it wasn't about shape. Not that shape was the important one about shape. It was a character. And let me tell you why. Um, we grew up in the church, but of all the other females, I thought she was most responsible. She was most mature. And I always admire the females who act mature. Mm -hmm. They know this power operates and support the business. If you act guinea, you, you don't attract me. Mm -hmm. but I was attracted to her maturity. And, and those who, people who know her, mm -hmm. she's usually more around adults. Adult women, just like my friends, they're adult men and males. So that was what attracted me initially to her. And then now, of course, you know, the shape when you come in. That's when you come in. And, and, and I don't like them when they're too thick. So she wasn't she wasn't thick. And if you know, she she maintained that kind of thing, you know. So up until this day I'm still attracted to that. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, see me now, give that Africa I'm realizing love Africans, so we love Eric Ted, you know. Yeah. Eric Ted. Yeah. Eric Ted. Yeah. The same is like the same first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on, sign it. Alright. So we put the kind of show now. What I love about my wife. Yeah. Yes, over there, right? So I love her the spirit, and I got the fancy number there, right? I love everything about her. I love her long sex legs then. Uh, um, nice, easy skin. Yeah, and I, and I love her smile. Her right? smile lights up the day. You know what I mean? So we give thanks to her. So like a good girl. So like a good girl. Give it up for your good girl. Deacon, Deacon. After Deacon, my brother. One, one advice. One advice. One advice that you would give to the young men out there yeah. who are, you know, upcoming fathers. After Nika. Nika, if you want to do it, I have a fucking shot. You know, I met this young lady when I was, she was 15 and I was 20. I went to the country and I rode white and strong. I got what? I rode white. You know, rude white. Yeah. yeah. So hold on, Nika, hold on, hold on there. So, Miss Marina and Jennifer Clark. Yeah, man. Right in the back pocket. Yeah, you know, you know. Sure, the fly open. Switch our chick. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Little Max 11, you know. Right around half of that you got pulled out, you know. And then, that's the first sister I'm ready. I see this little sister. But, sure, I'm about to turn up. That's a baby I can't be funny. I'm here, I talk, I can smile. You know, and just so, say if you love me, go buy a good laugh for me, and I'm running around because I don't want to go. I love this girl because I told her she's about country. Hard to get. Hard to get. Sometimes I don't coach me to see her. I can come back home. Go down by night. Sometimes I don't see her. She lives up at Aunt Angie's house today sometimes. You know, I'm talking to her because I can't go by her. I'm going to a bad man from town. Come back at home. Brethren. And why? Sometimes she's not a husband and I can't see her. I'm still up there. I'm still up there. She's here. I'm still up there. She's here. I'm not here for now. I'm still not here for now. I'm going to get a girl to work here again. I'm going to show you that I'm from the middle of the yard. And I show you. I'm going to take a man out of the house. Bring her back to my house. So I want to tell you that. So I'm going to tell you that. So I'm going to tell you that. So I'm going to tell you that. I'm the champion of the She's a blessing in my life. Let's go on.
Close there, close there. So, 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 so tell me one of the lyrics there. Uh, the lyrics uh, 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 uh,